All right, what's going on everybody? So I'm almost done with all the E3 videos. I think I have like one more gameplay video to show, one more uh, video talking about my last day at E3, and the Square Enix conference and maybe the PC conference videos, uh, uh, conference review videos to do. So I'm almost done with all of this and uh, back to regularly scheduled programming. But we're gonna talk about the Bethesda conference, which a lot of people, um, said it was the best conference no doubt bethesda definitely did do their thing um they definitely delivered especially to their fans if you are a fan of their games they gave you every single thing you could practically dream of and they kicked off e3 they had their conference on sunday i wasn't able to attend this one so uh yeah let's start it off so first they they talked about doom now doom looks good of course but the only thing i'm worried about that game is I worry that Doom hasn't evolved to the point where it should have by now because when I look at that gameplay, I can't say it gets me excited. Like, oh man, I'm just thrilled. I can't wait. You know, I feel now the standards to impress for a first person shooter is much higher because we've had so many of them, both mediocre and both amazing, that when you make a first person shooter now, it's good is not good enough a game that would be an amazing first person shooter otherwise in this day and age it's just good not so i'm not you know making obviously final judgment on doom i'm just saying it did look a little bit generic in some parts in some parts you know it looks like your typical first person shooter uh, of course you know doom doom is definitely the pioneer for one of the pioneers of that genre so i'm still looking forward to the game but i can't say i'm excited because like i said i think we all we all suffer from just infinite first person shooter burn and fatigue so but doom did look good the next thing they showed was a game called battle cry from what i gather battle cry is a class-based hack and slash type game i don't know if they're the official genre is hack and slash but that's what it seems like to me. And it looks interesting, looks decent. I don't really have much to say about it. I would definitely have to see more more footage and uh, read up about more details on that game. But for right now, it's good content. Next, they went to Dishonored 2. Dishonored 2 is probably the, the highlight for me of this conference because I absolutely loved the first Dishonored. That was a real sleeper hit. You know how every once in a while, uh, a new IP comes out and people don't really know what to think of it, don't know, know, don't know what to expect. For example, one of those, you could say um, Shadow of Mordor was a sleeper hit. People weren't sure how it was going to go. Dishonored was one of my favorite sleeper hits. That game was truly amazing. If you haven't played it, I recommend you do. It's probably it's priced next to nothing now. Uh, de I definitely recommend it. So the story is really good. Um, it's it's original in some ways it's, it's good writing and uh you know i like the atmosphere i like the setting uh the gameplay is great i love the abilities uh visuals were good uh so it, it was just an all-around really good game you know a uh, really good ip that established itself and it gained a following it has a lot of fans now and people really couldn't wait for a sequel so and y'all know i love my stealth games i love games that give you a choice on what type what way you want to engage enemies now of course now of course it's a stealth game so it encourages you to be stealthy there are other ways to handle it but that's kind of your best choice but it, it gives you options with how you engage the enemy uh it, it and if you want to engage the enemy at all it's one of those games you can literally go through the game without killing one person that's the challenge. People have done that. You could probably find a video or two on on YouTube of people uh, taking on that challenge. It's very difficult because in this game, you can choose to either kill enemies and knock out enemies, and the decisions you make in the game actually de uh, determine the ending, for example. And there's even, I believe, there's even people that not only decided not to kill anybody, that's the passive route. I think there's some videos where they never even touched a guard. 
never knocked them out, never killed them, was just completely stealthy like they were never there. I believe that's, for example, like a challenge in some of the Metal Gear games. Uh, I know in Metal Gear Solid 4, there was a chance, there was a, a challenge uh, to get the highest rating in the game. I believe the highest rating was Big Boss. You had to go through the whole game and never be detected. So some people, you know, took that upon themselves to do that in Dasan and figured out a way to be completely stealthy. So it's, it's a real fun game. And it's not just your generic stealth game because you have a lot of abilities and powers in the game that make it a lot of fun and just break the mold. So I can't wait for Dishonored 2. The next game is Elder Scroll Online. I don't really have any insight about the game, so I couldn't really tell you, uh, you know, what the quality is of the game. Um, I can't say I really have any interest. Not that I wouldn't try it out, but, you know, it's not one of those games I have on my list to play. But as far as I know, people talk um, pretty highly of it, and I know some people who are interested in it do say it's a good game or going to be a good game. So... Yeah, just not something that really uh, pertains to me. The next thing was Fallout. Probably the, th the game that most Bethesda fans were looking forward to. And I gotta say, they went, they really went all out with Fallout. I didn't, I didn't intend for that to sound like that. Didn't intend for it to rhyme. But they, they really went all in. Like they really tricked that game out. A lot of a lot of the fans were complaining they're taking forever to say anything about Fallout 4, but when they finally said something, they gave y'all everything. Everything. Um the game is coming out the end of this year. I can't remember the exact release date. I believe it's in it's in November. There's a Pit Boy edition which comes with a real life Pit Boy and you can put your phone in it. And there's an actual app in which you can use uh for in-game actions. Um, they made an actual iPhone game, uh, Fallout Shelter, which by the looks of it looks pretty impressive, even though, like I said, uh, I, I mean, I probably wouldn't, wouldn't play it. I don't have an iPhone, for one thing. I'm team Android. So, and I, I thought it was strange. I know he said they were working, they, uh, were working, um, on it from the iPhone since it went, since it came out. That's probably why they haven't, I guess, put it on Android yet, but they're losing out on a lot of money and like kind of dividing the community by only having it on iPhones right now. Um, so that's, they should definitely put it on Androids uh, later on. But from what I can see, Fallout is going to be full of content and full of features. They uh, displayed this one part where you're going to be able to build your own shelter, uh, build your own house pretty much. Well, you can't call it a house. It's really just a shelter. And uh you know that's pretty cool and even me i don't like i actually really kind of stray away from what are you crafting games i don't like crafting games and i don't like games where you have to build stuff it's just not my thing it's not my forte you know i don't have that type of eye or that type of sense but that actually looks pretty easy and it looks it's like something i could do so that that was pretty cool now i've never played that deeply into fallout i think i played an hour of fallout 3 it's not a it's not that it was a bad game it's just one of those games that i never got into i will be buying fallout 4 uh i can't determine whether whether it's going to be on release or not it all depends on what games are coming out that week or the week before because you know fall season so many games coming out so you got to prioritize and buy the, the you know the main game you're interested in but i definitely will buy this game and try it out because it's not that i didn't enjoy fallout the previous fallouts i just kind of got into it late and wasn't really able to dive into the experience at that point so i'm going to try out fall, fallout 4 and see how i like it so overall the bethesda conference was uh pretty solid they definitely delivered uh, you know as far as i can see everything their fans wanted and it was a very very good conference so yeah that's it y'all let me know what y'all think Peace.